listen. 3,000. Yo, 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 I'm Caesar. I am Zen. And we are Listen 3,000. Hey, home, please. Thank you, brother. Before we get into this great episode with the gang, it's just us today. Look at this. I love when we get one of these, though. We get to make fun of each other more right. or something. We just get into the stupid stuff. Anyway, before we do that, this is always presented to you by Agents of Fandom. Please go to agentsoffandom.com. Follow them on all social platforms. Platforms, I'm sorry. Agents of Fandom. Also check out their podcast, Comic Corner, Agents of Fandom, and these two guys sitting right here. Listen, 3,000. So please give them a follow. Give them a, a, I don't even know, a view. Anything you can. Support the gang. Always. Thank you, guys. Um, next, we are here in the lovely Sound Gallery Studios. Don't forget it. You see the space? Yeah. You should come. Record some things. Take some pics. Do a pod. You let them know. Not it's, for sure. It's this guy. It's Sound Gallery Studios. Come on, man. Check it out if you're in the Philadelphia area. Yes, sir. Yeah. And yeah, while we are at Sound Gallery Studios, we are not wearing any of our special shirts or special merch today. But we got something coming up. Will this episode be out by the time? It might be. It might not be. But we might have a special anything, sale for Cyber you. Cyber Monday, we're going to put some hoodies up. It's going to be some cool stuff. Yeah, we're man. marking the prices now. Yep. Um, we'll probably keep it till Christmas, something like that. So, yeah. like, you know, get your, get, you know, support the pod. Please do. Get your, get your people some gifts, you know what I mean? Keep cozy for the for the winter time. Yeah, for sure. And represent the gang, you know what I mean? Yeah, man. Help us out. And I didn't start it off that way, but I feel like I did a nice little smooth intro, so it should be okay. But this is episode 60. I feel like we got to clap it up for episode 60. Look at us. Yeah, chucking along, chucking along, having fun doing it. All right, man. Since you just us today, also don't blame us. This is a week news, a week news week. It should be fun because we're going to really dive into these topics. But it's not much going on though. But because of that, we get to talk about music today. For I'm sure, excited. we For don't sure. always get to, and we can lead it off with uh, one of the bigger releases of a, of a while. Man. Why, are you, why are you smirking already? Because it's a great, it's a great <laughs> project. I'm glad to talk about it. We got to talk about Kendrick Lamar's GNX album that came out. We've been waiting. It's been a Kendrick year. Oh my goodness, has it been? He's had such a great year this year, yeah. and um, I remember he people saying, topped it off with this album for sure. Yeah, so I did not mean to cut you off. I was gonna I say I, I seen a lot of people debating if Future had a more of a rapper year than Kendrick after this. I, I agree with them maybe before this, just because it was just not like us. Mm-hmm. After this, I think he's the rapper of the year. <laughs> no, for sure. I think he's the rapper of the year. I don't even think it's a debate anymore. But anyway, you want to get into that? What do you want to say about the album first? Do you want to talk about our, our like? I love it, man. I yeah, love just it. talk about I how we feel about it. I can't really say anything else about it. Um. This might be my you favorite. See the hat. Kend- this might be my favorite Kendrick album in a long time. Um, you gotta let the joke get. You don't. I was saying using your West Coast. Oh, I don't think that's West Coast, but it, you give me a little. If you was bicking right now, okay, I could see it. I don't get it, but fine. I hope y'all in the comments <laughs> see. I hope one of our friends, somebody sees it. All okay, right, all right, all right. No, no, no. But um, I enjoyed this album a lot. I think it's his best album in a long time. Um. I mean, there's only been one album since <laughs> since my favorite Kendrick album. But, but what's a long uh, time? You already gonna make this debate. What, I you, think what it, do you mean a long time? It's but what's when that mean? It, when it, when it, when did Miss Morale come out? Twenty two. Yeah. So do you just mean it's his best album since the last one? It's his best album since since what? Damn. It, how many? It's only been Miss Morale since then. I think so. Or right. Black Panther. I don't know. Was that before them? Either way, you cleaned them. it up. You can. Clean, I'll, I'll even accept if you want this over Black Panther. I don't. But no, it's saying, not. No, 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 no. I love I'm Black saying, Panther, but I, I, it's a different different thing. But that's what I'm saying. Thing. If you, yeah. that's why because of that. If you wanted that, you got it. I ain't mad at yeah. you, but you cleaned it up. Don't get too crazy. <laughs> nah, I love GNX though. It's, it's great, man. I feel like somebody called it evil hyphy music, and I agree. <laughs> oh, crazy, yo. <laughs> <laughs> they snapped evil hyphy music. Yes. Oh wow, that's very accurate. Yeah, I love when he's in his uh, West Coast bag. Yeah, man, like his real like street West Coast bag, modern West Coast bag too. Yeah, if that adds anything for yeah. you, like I feel like he's definitely taking it. Like he sounds like he's a dude living in Compton right now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the way that even even it's not even just how he's speaking about it is what he's talking about too. Like the whole thing, it just sounds like he's current. In the West Coast, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I just feel, I'm, I'm pointing that out because he just knows, never did that before. I could be wrong, but I mean like a current style. I feel like he's never did a current West Coast. Isn't this the first time he's kind of like adapting, actually the West Coast sound when it comes to like? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Can you help you me? Mean. Can you no, help I see me? What if, you uh, mean. Yeah, because yeah, I don't like want to say it disrespectfully like, at all. No, 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 no. I see what yeah. you mean. Like the the, it's the, the, the pockets the, and the yeah, and the, and the beats. Like, yeah. what, but what style is that? Is there a name I to don't that? Know if it's a name. So you get my point though, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, Whatever. Yeah. No disrespect. I just mean that in a 
Yeah, whatever this sound is, that don't, 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 don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Whatever that, he's never been in that pocket or that, or those beats. I, I've never heard it from right. Kendrick. So right. when we heard it from Not Like Us, that was like, whoa, are you going to stay here? And then he did mm-hmm. it for most, most of an album. Yeah. Yeah. Um, sorry, we're already nerding out a little bit about the artistic parts of it. But the actual songs, man, no, I, I had a good time. You got any standouts know. that you off top? I, I mean, yeah, the obvious ones too. T, uh, you know what? Let me give a little... I, you know, I won't go story vibe. Remember, I didn't hear the album Loki for like a week. It might have been a week before everyone else did just because I had a lot going on. But like when I finally got to listen to it, before, right before I did, everyone was talking about TV off. And then like in our group chat, and the, shout out to the Wakanda Council. And yeah, they were going crazy, right? And even online, everyone's going crazy and doing the mustache, right? Like, mm-hmm. But I'm not getting it. I don't know what's happening, right? Mm-hmm. Now, I don't even know what sound of the song is because i don't know i did purposely not listening to it right so then i finally tap in and i'm like i'm i'm buying, and i'm listening to it and immediately i'm like oh this is this must be the one there t- like i'm trying, i don't remember all the way which one it was but mm-hmm. i was like oh i think it is then i'm looking through our text to see which one was t- which one it was and it was tv off mm-hmm. when i get to mustard <laughs> oh <laughs> like bro my body was just like this is it i understand <laughs> he was like i get it now right. <laughs> i had like a revelation and i'm like in the bathroom listening like just like going crazy huh? but yeah it wasn't too much of a story but it was like my I, that song lived up to any of its type like on the internet if you didn't listen to that song mm-hmm. so yeah I, I think tv off uh is a super standoff like that's clearly going to be at the super bowl um Dodger Blue, I love a lot. I love, love Luther. Dodger Blue. Love I love Luther. 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 Yeah. The way that they even blend in with his voice is ridiculous. The way they did the beat, man. There's a lot to all of this. I was Peekaboo. I love Peekaboo. Mm-hmm. It's too. Peek-a-boo. It's too. It's too. Too hard. It's too hard. It's, and you know what's funny about the West Coast thing too? Since we could dive into that, a lot. The West Coast style is a very specific style. Like not everybody is adapted. To listening to to that style of rap all the time and to be in the forefront. My dad said something. Shout out to my dad at home. Um, he said something that I, that really stuck with me because at first I wanted to grind him and I grind him up and be like, like debate it what he said. But then I thought about it for a second. I was like, you might be really right. He said the last time the West Coast. I think when he means West Coast, so specifically like you know like Cal- like uh, L A. That that's this style, right? He said it was at the forefront sonically in rap or in music because of rap was Snoop Dogg, and he said that, and I was like. Oh, there's been West Coast. Right? I'm saying, like, I wasn't thinking YG, low key. Great point too, but he's saying forefront. Everybody don't know YG's not as famous as any of Snoop Dogg when Snoop Dogg had Dog Pound and Chronic was. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he's saying the height of it when Drop It Like It's Hot was out. It's YG. No disrespect to YG. I love YG. He's never like that. Sound wasn't the sound. Do you get what I'm trying right, to say? Right, right. The number one sounding thing on the radio wasn't that style. I but, don't even know if it was. Then would you say that he's saying that because when Snoop Dogg was at his height, Snoop Dogg is normally maybe not drop it like it's hot because that's one song, yeah, and that's of like a, a, of a, of a high Neptune's time Neptune's thing, absolutely. Yeah. But I'm saying he means when more so Dog Pound when he came out, oh, like Doggy Style, that's what that's Doggy Style. I'm sorry, yeah. that's the yeah, look at me saying the, the album wrong. The, that entire time was only that being played. Interesting. It was the thing. Oh, okay. So okay, he's okay. like, what you listen to when when a random person on the street. Any race, like what you listening to, and it listening to chronic this, or this, doggy style this type, sa- you know? sound, yeah. So he's okay. like, "Wow, this has never been the style, like the forefront mm-hmm. since that." And that's when, because remember, I'm like you. I was like, "That don't even make no sense." I can name people that, and it's not West Coast too. Yeah, but then I'm like, "Wow, being the that low key like gave me chill because I was like, "Wow, this." <laughs> It, not in a good way, by the way. So don't do this, anyone. But like, I remember as a kid when Drop Like It's came out, everyone's like crib walking. We should not be doing that. Right. But that's is a joking. We shouldn't. But it's like that's how big this is worldwide. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, so right, it's almost right, like right, we're right. back to feeling like the world, or at least America, is in California. Right. And I just thought that was really cool that he did that. You know, because I don't know if anyone else has the power to do that. Not true. You know. So yeah. I just thought, shout out to my dad for that. I thought it was a really cool music. Thing kind of right, yeah, yeah. I feel like I got some of the same standouts as you mm. as far as songs in the album. Again, I obviously Dodger Blue, Luther, TV Off. Um, What's your other Peek-a-boo, one? You love the uh, GNX. GNX. I love yes. GNX, and that's the name of the album, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Hey, 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 hey. Which one? Is hey, now? Hey, now. Right. It can't not give love to Hey, now. I love Hey, now. Hey, that's mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I love that. Nah, that one's fun. Yeah. That, that, that's a fun one. Um, Squabble yeah. up. What Squabble are you talking up, about? Of course, of course. Of course. Yeah, we I finally got the full version. Yo, people, uh, you can have your opinions. That's okay. I've seen way too many, in my opinion, takes of this did not live up to the hype. I that's think you're nuts. Crazy. I think they're crazy. I just guess because people. I can kept, understand. Because I remember, like, they wanted it back. I was listening to because the snippet came out and people was looping that. Over and, and make over it a full for song. a music video, yeah. As so it wasn't like, released, so. I, I, I understand because I was listening to that little loop snippet too. It's up there with and it's not one the of same. the greatest leaks of all time, uh, 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 teases snippets of all time. So I get that, yeah, I get that. I, so I get like people just because that part of the song is very specific. Mm. Oh, mm, but then, like, but then, this is why they wrong though. This is why they wrong. Right after the part where they cut off, you get the boom, 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 and the sample singing. No, they're missing out. Yeah, that's all. But opinions, right? Yeah, you can, sure. uh, like, But for me, when I heard that, because that part dropped, said, well, in a tri-state, but, but they hit a boom, 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 boom. I remember watching the Joe Budden podcast. They like, oh, <laughs> just off the beat. That was me. I'm like, oh, my God. this. Yo. To me, I heard that part of the beat, bro, and I was like, oh, they knew that they had to deliver on this because of the because of the rest of the song. I don't even know if they, they probably had the song done. Oh, yeah, for sure. Parts already. But they knew that something, this had to go because this was going to. Finish this, nah, sure, you know, because sure, it felt sure, too sure. crazy. And again, they were aware of that. Um, yeah, remember Loki naming the whole album for real. Like that's the only. Oh, you know what? Let me name the one that you name. <laughs> Look at me. I was always about dis- dis- disrespecting for my song. <laughs> Reincarnated is a phenomenal song. That's what I wanted to say. It grew on me because at first I was like, all right, I'm not with the uh, the, the Tupac one. production. Say it right though. The Tupac no, production. Don't get in trouble though. It sound crazy. Nah, let it sound that sounds like you hate Tupac production. What you, what you I'm not the it? biggest fan of Tupac production. What does that mean, though? I give, give people insight. What's that mean, Tupac? No, 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 no. I'm not even saying that as a joke. I mean, what is Tupac production? That's a Tupac to type beat. It is. To someone that doesn't know what that means. I think they sampled them, too, if I'm not mistaken. It but is. I don't know. I don't know. Well, you didn't peep that? I don't know that song. You a liar, bro. That's a. Look at me trying to. Do, that's a famous. That's like. I don't know the name, but I've heard. You like heard that song. Uh uh-uh. uh. You lying. Okay. If, I, if I played it for you, though, you would just be like, oh, okay. Maybe. I don't want to disrespect Tupac this on this podcast. Saying, I can say yeah. something. I can say something right now, and that might. You want to go crazy? crazy. So you want to go I, crazy? I don't. I don't get the views. Nah, I don't no? think that's gonna help us. That might. That <laughs> might hurt us. <laughs> shout out to Tupac though. Actually, no. Literally, shout out to Tupac. For me, at least we still have me on the other side. I love reincarnated. I personally, we had a great talk. Actually, pound that again. We had a great talk before the uh, the pod today about music and kind of just about. Style, I guess what uh, preference, right? Like mm-hmm. preference in hip hop specifically, though, because me- everyone is preference in music, but definitely hip hop is a different thing because there's so many layers and different subgenres and ways you can attack rapping, mm-hmm. right? So I feel anyway. We won't get into that deep dive. That was an awesome talk. We'll do that another day, maybe. But a part of that talk was us realizing the difference of what we're like looking for in music, right? And I agree with you because I'm not the biggest Tupac fan stylistically, right? Like over other, at least like over Biggie or certain people. But I love experience rap. I'm going to call it that now. Like experience songs when it comes off like a movie. Like I might not want to go back to that song over and over again because it's not the most like replayable, right? But I will replay it because it puts me wherever that dude is when he when Kendrick is rap. Wherever he's at, where he's rapping. Don't make me look. I see you trying. Oh, no. Say, of course. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I just get it. Messing with you. But no, wherever Kendrick's at in the emotion and the passion, the way he's yelling on that song with the beat, oh, my God, and the sample in it, like it's affecting me. And putting me in that, honestly, no joke, it made me feel like I'm in that room when he was screaming. <laughs> ah, wherever room that we got to put that on the, the brown, We do. We, that's a good, we got to update it. The brown and red walls, I see. That's where I'm at, right with him on the wall. But anyway, that's why I love that song. But I can understand, because it's not really the most replayable, unless if you like that style, or that's your favorite style. Not sure. You know? Um, that's one thing I do, I do want to point out about this album, though, how much replayability it has, which yeah. I think is very important, um, especially think, with... with you think it's, right, that's very important to what? It's important to yes. um, an album, in my opinion. Oh, I feel no, like that's my question. In that's general, question. You have to have a lot of. I feel like that's, replay that's value is very important because, yeah. like, what is the album if I don't want to listen to it again? Great point. No, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. I'm with you. You know what I mean? But um, I, I think that's important for Kendrick too. With the year he's had, the momentum he had, having something that you can that's replayable. We going into the new year, people yeah. are still going to be playing yes, this album. Will. I feel like into that's, the Super Bowl, right? That's good. To, that's that's awesome for him. Mm-hmm. It just continues the momentum that he already has because, yeah. like, you're going to be riding around. Now we're not just listening to Not Like Us. We're listening to Squabble Up. We're listening to the, the GNX. We're back listening to, back to Hey Now. now. We're listening to, to uh, Peekaboo. We're listening to... So it's like... Oh, my God. You know what I mean? Like, Should I add Not Like Us? Can you do that on Apple? Can I like add Not Like Us? I would like to. 
at you the need playlist, to put, it on put a, a playlist. If he do deluxe, you need to put it on there. Just get this point. Let's do it. Oh, what it go? What would it go nice with? Should it go like right after Scrabble Up? But that says it's like no. Nah, just put it in. Okay, a little bonus. I want it with a little with one of the other part parts. Of the album. I but I don't know it. next to Gloria. Nah, I need it with one of them. Jo- you know what I'm saying, other, right? It's gonna be other de- bonus right? Or the deluxe. I'm okay, sure. fine. I just need I it next to one another one. Bop John. That's all. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I need that and hit me again. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But anyway, yeah. Look, we, I'm GNX overload. Yeah. Right. Well, one thing I want to shout out while we here. Shout out Jack Antonoff, man. Oh. For for like. You. <sighs> His like production run right now is 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 ridiculous. Like he's giving you full Taylor Swift albums. He's doing Lana Del Rey, but then he's also doing Kendrick Lamar. I'm like what's going on? Like, and, then, and then getting dissed by Drake and because he also did the diss records. Didn't he do Euphoria? Yeah, he did. Like he did. I might have to pull up the production. I need to know what's the whole he list. Did. I just need yeah. to know what's on which, which ones. I would like to know that actually. Thank you. Because yeah. I did. I heard Soundwave is the main producer on everything. He he was on a part of every song. Yeah, I know Soundwave. Shout out to Soundwave too. Always, yeah, to Soundwave for sure. Sound, shout out to Soundwave. Um, keep talking. I'm, I'm gonna pull up the uh, gotcha. production. No man, I just uh, man favorite features too. I loved hearing Roddy Rich. I loved every single person that song. Who was the other artist? Because I don't want to. Uh, Sam do Wally uh, Wally the Sensei. Excuse me, Wally the Sensei. They all did really great. Yeah, shout out to all the West Coast features on this. Awesome, Peso. Awesome. Um, we about to go hit through the up. checklist right now. It was a lot of really, really good verses. And just good added uh, contributions. Like, man, I I wanted to shout out Roddy though, because one, I'm a Roddy fan here, but he, I, I I like hearing him on stuff that sound. Why are you laughing? Nah, What's I'm I'm on saying on that's enough name on certain songs. I'm like, hold up, he did that? No way. But, Which nah. one? Oh, you saying other right, yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Jack Asnoff was like all over this album. So mm. he touched uh, Whacked Out Mirrors. He touched Squabble Up. We didn't even call out Whacked Out Mirrors. My God. Yeah, he touched Luther. He touched Man of the Garden. He touched All the Ones. Okay. He touched Reincarnated. He touched TV Off. Okay, All the Ones. He touched Dodger Blue. Yo, yo, Jack. He touched Heart Part 6. Yo. Which also fire. Amazing. Oh, we didn't even talk. This album's great. Wow. The SWV sample. Wow. Great John. And even what he's talking like him, and Jack Antonoff touched GNX. Oh my, and Jack. Gloria. Yeah, he touched like the entire GNX. album. Yeah. Zen. No, that's the whole album. It's only twelve songs. Yeah, did he it do? Was, 12? It was like it was not. Nah, it was it's nine. A few he didn't do. <laughs> well, got to be nine tops. He did. Yeah, that sounded like a he lot. He touched of songs. almost everything though. Him and Soundwave. Bro, can I be in the room? Can we get a Doc? I feel like we'll never get a Kendrick Doc. I would like he's that. like like a, like an album. Yeah, uh, any of them. We never got one for any anything yet. I would love. Man, I want one for his whole career, obviously one day, but I want one for this album. This seemed like a fun time for Kendrick. You know no, what for I mean? sure. Like that would be cool to see. <clears throat> Excuse me. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. Shout out Jack Anto. Oh my God. That's yeah. crazy. And again, Soundwave has the same credits too, because he's on every single one. Yeah, every but, single one. Man, shout out to them. What a dynamic duo that you wouldn't if you don't know them, you wouldn't expect. We know them over here though. So mm-hmm. I'm expect I just wasn't expecting Jack. I just though. like I just I love the range. That. From Taylor Swift to Kendrick. Bro. Just like that. Bro, one of the hardest albums this year in Lana, and in a weird way, if I that's why I want the talk. I want to see what he did. I just want to see specifically what he did. Yeah, because I I bet that I could connect all these worlds. Yeah, you know. Yeah, no. I sure. bet you could find. Oh, that's what you did. I know I can see it throughout mm-hmm. this Lana Taylor. Probably anything else he do. Right. I bet. Um, man, and then he like married to Margaret Qualley or whatever. I think so. Something like that. This dude, this dude has like a like a great life. Not nah, for sure. Look at that. And, going on with you i'm trying to think what else i can point out from this album before we switch combos i don't want to stop <laughs> i don't know if anything else it's really point good out. it is really nothing did we it's talk just, about him and scissor that's uh, specifically it for me just i, I, I love I, their man. uh their partnership when it's we're, with, we'll never with, get uh, like Luther. a collab album or anything but i don't know man, if i would want that you wouldn't because you're a hater i wouldn't <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm I mean, lying. what would that even sound like what would they talk about that's why i want it that's what no zen Look, creativity, I, don't, I don't even care to hear what they're gonna talk You're about on that. Such a, but I love the sing- I love no because I, I I love. Can you when, take an EP? Can you I take love, an EP? Sure, five songs. Sure, sure, sure five sure. songs. I just love I love when they're not super deep together. I love when it's like Play, all the stars. No, I'm with you, Luther. Oh, you just wanted to be. Okay. What's the song that they got together on her I album? Loved, which one? Though? It's on Control. I could look it up. But are they together like that? I think he's just rapping. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's a little different than the other ones. But I hear you, though. I'm with you. Because that's all about to make a joke. You just want her to be, like, to be the uh, the contribution every time. <laughs> She's, but imagine, someone said it great, too. Uh, 
I don't know who it was. It was like, imagine just having SZA in the tuck, though. So, like, to be able to use SZA as a layer is crazy. Like, yeah. amazing. So, nah, like, I, I'm sure. jealous of that. But it was more so, like... Doves in the wind. Doves yeah. in the wind. Yeah. Yes. And I, that was a great one. Damn, I gotta go back to control. Too. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, just last thing on that before we go to the next one. Is that... I want to hear an EP of Ken. We'll never get it, so it doesn't matter. But Kendrick and SZA, because I don't, I don't have a fucking clue what you would talk about. That's the only reason. And how are you going to try it? I feel like they would do some really cool, creative things. That's all. Okay. Because you can't expect. I have no idea. I don't even know what it would sound like. No, sure. I can't. Maybe that song. Luth, no, I don't know. Yeah, maybe like Luther. Yeah. Uh, stylistically, I guess. But I bet there's songs they're not going to do in that style. That's why I'm like, I really, that's interesting. That'd no, be interesting. Sure, 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 but anyway, sure. man, good job, Kendrick. Yeah, for and sure. way to get the owls out of here. But anywho, um, hey, yo, yo I snapped. Yo, Kosh, what do you mean by that? Anywho, what do you mean by that? What I mean by that? Anywho. <laughs> Drake has brought some interesting. Um, <laughs> I ain't like that. I don't like that. I'm just I kidding because like I'm I, again. I'm a retired. I shouldn't put that out there too much because I love Drake. I'm a. I have a rusted wing. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Not one wing, too. That sounds crazy. It's a whole. It's like I have like a half of one. Remember Angel from X Men movie? Okay. And he got like the full wings, but I got one of them. Okay. You know, just right. one side. Right. Like Nemo. All right. But so <laughs> <laughs> Drake. Actually, no joke though. Um, it's very interesting what we're about to talk about. Drake, do you might want to actually spill this more? Yeah. Like, how do you want so to start Drake has filed a petition. The lawsuit hasn't went through yeah. yet, but he filed a petition. Oh, we did against um, UMG and that. Spotify for a few things. It's a lot of things in this right, lawsuit, that's the, that's and we're not really going to get into the 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 nitty gritty the nitty gritty of the legal jargon that's in yeah, the lawsuit. That's, that's that's annoying. Um, but. Yeah. The headline that Pull came out online, it was a, it was a lot of uh, him suing because of not like us, um, which I do think is a catalyst for for the lawsuit. But I do think that if you're if you are you tapped into Drake or you tapped into like music, hip hop stuff, in, not even kinda, that industry, right? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 more industry stuff. Yeah. You know, he's kind of been at odds with his label a bit for a while now. So like, it's not that this was like. A support- Surprise? Not the biggest of surprise. I think um, the lawsuit is a, like the, the the fact that he's taking it legal. The timing is shocking, Zen. I think that's what it I is. I think the timing. The timing is what. Uh, now, oh, wait, the album yeah. just came out. Sure, like, sure, sure, it's sure, just this sure. year. I think that's what it was. But no, if you know what's going on, mm-hmm. he's waiting low key, maybe. Yeah. Because you knew he could have did it. Right. You know? Yeah. So, um, with that being said, I feel like there's a lot of implications with this lawsuit that could be very pivotal. For like the music mm, industry in itself, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, because a lot of things been poked at. Like again, like I said, we're not gonna get too deep into the legal right. jargon of the suit mm-hmm. itself, but it's poking at payola, it's poking at bots, it's poking at, uh, it's poking at um the label doing things because doing tricks, tricks, exactly. Tricks with, while tricks. negotiations are going on, because Drake is negotiating his next mm-hmm. record deal, so yeah. it's things in place to kind of maybe take away leverage from him. Oh, we should talk about that. Yeah, like we'll uh, talk about that at the end. Okay, I forgot that he's it's because he's leaving the record. I yeah, about that. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. yes, it's uh, a yes. lot of little things like that that, that, that seemingly are like at play here. Mm-hmm. So I don't think it's just a not like us part of it. Right. Sure, that was a catalyst of it. I'm definitely sure that which also makes him look away. That's when I was going to make the jokes. Yeah, just to have the duality because yeah. we're I know we're getting all get you, you, you get right into it. Mm-hmm. Um, the jokes of it all because that's what everyone was talking about on the internet it's just funny because yeah his ego definitely got hit through the not like us thing and that's probably what made i don't know that man so it probably but I, I'm, assumption is what made him be like let me you know what let's press the button yeah you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah, yeah. but that got don't even put kendrick in this that is, this is nothing to do with kendrick i am i just made the jokes about the owls and stuff kendrick smoked the beef you know but this is for all of us any creative mm-hmm Ever. And, and, and <laughs> this it's is funny because like I don't think that's Drake's like reasoning for this at all. Ain't that crazy, bro? Like, I don't think he cares about. And that's okay. He can be the, uh, the, the field. What? I don't think he cares about. the He field. can be the anti-hero, I guess. Like he don't gotta want to win for us, but we'll take the dub. Yeah, as, if, uh, it, as, if it works out in his yeah. favor. So. Yeah, man. But the implications is really what's important about what I was talking about. This will, if he wins this, you really don't know what could happen. It could just open up the con the, the concept of labels slaving artists anymore like that could i'm not saying that'll ever be deaded maybe i don't know but i think it starts it i think it trims away 
Yeah. You know? Okay. For anybody, it could. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because you, it's UMG on a lot, y'all. Yeah, <laughs> that, you know, that's a, a that's lot. all. It's like if they didn't own so much, what I'm saying isn't true. But Spotify? Yeah. And then, do y'all know not, what, not, how Spotify do artists? That's what I'm saying. Shout out to them, I and guess. That, but and the fact that I don't know how, how deep right the people are watching trouble. this or like I don't yeah. know. I don't care about that, but I don't. Okay. Uh, I don't know how deep the, the people that are watching this are care into like this. music yeah, yeah, industry yeah, yeah. stuff. Yeah, but like sorry. the fact that UMG owns a percentage of Spotify itself mm-hmm. and things like that. Literally, like, y'all, I, you literally are playing in a playpen together, exactly. just with art with human beings' lives and and their rights. Yeah, like that's kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think. I don't think What's Drake, that? whatever Drake is doing with this lawsuit, is gonna necessarily change necessarily change that much. Saying. Like you know what I mean? That's why like, I said. St- that, that's why nice, I worded it like that. It would that. be nice to see where where it goes. That's what I'm saying. It, it's um, a start, though. Yeah, because you can you can bring them back down a size. Right. I feel like if anything, it'll expose a lot depending that's what on how I'm far saying. it'll take it. You that's know what, what I mean. Because like it's certain things that's in the music industry that. Uh, are pretty common knowledge, mm. especially how things get promoted. Yeah. Um. If you don't know, like most, I, I don't know if I'm like saying something groundbreaking here, but like a lot of streams aren't real. Like <gasps> right, right. For right. the most part, a lot of it is body. That's not nothing new. You know what I mean? Like most of the artists, all artists, use top, it, the tops. like from the yeah. top to the to the low, in the mid. And if the low got enough money to play games, then you could yes, play sir. that way. But like, yes, um, that's pretty common. So like that's some things that's being poked at. Uh I know some people was calling Drake hypocritical with 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 um mm, I didn't hear that. With how he was like I guess uh, speaking on the not like us part of it and how they were you y- um inflating that song in a way to mm. Oh, because he's done it. Yeah, or it's been done for him. Oh, actually, like the whole like somebody used an example of like I remember, when, wait, hold I on. when Scorpion came out. I think even Rico did. I get what he was saying. Yeah, Shout yeah, out to Rico. Gang gang. That's a great point, and I can admit to that. I think this isn't about that, though, for Drake. Because I mean, it's in a aware. lawsuit, though. That's all. Like uh, that, he, that was pointed specifically out. That's still not what I mean. You all the way. What I'm because because I feel like I'm saying I feel you like, can call that out and still know it's bad. That's sure, all I'm sure, sure, to sure. Say. I feel like part. I feel like part of his thing within this lawsuit, though, is like. The not like us thing is one thing, right? But then it's like I'm who I am. Like he, he's who he is. He's yeah. done what he's done career wise. Right. Like he's right. literally kept the yeah. lights on for like yes, most damn near fifteen years and yeah. shit at this point. Yeah, and it's like so. Now we're in negotiation for a uh, re up, a re up, mm-hmm. and you this happens, games and then me. y'all he throw the shots and stuff and whatever, and that's whatever was going on. Yeah, whatever cool. that is, right. but then y'all kind of y'all you're doing that, some things, but with you're that. helping that. Yeah, exactly. So now it feels personal, even if I know. Oh, I get what you're saying, Zen. Because now it's oh, this is a tricky case. Because then it's like Drake is literally being like, oh, that game y'all playing, you play that game with me. Like when we're not beefing, I get those that treatment. Yeah. So I see the hypocrite. I understand. Yeah. I'm, I'm getting it a little more in real time. Right. Uh, uh, this is kind of what I'm trying to say because we, I think it's valid to call him a hypocrite for, I guess, tattletaling. Mm-hmm. It, it's still like, right? Like, because the thing is, is like, like when you point that finger, it's going to point back at you that, as well that's, because and that's, you yes. benefited from, from that. all of that as that's well. That's exactly what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. But I guess at the same time, and that's where this is a really interesting conversation because he's not doing it for the better good. If he was doing it for the better good, I don't think anyone would call him a hypocrite. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Because, well, I mean, I think it's the hypocritical because it's, he's not clean in this either. No, you that is, no, that's the reasoning. I'm, but, saying, I'm saying calling him that. Yeah, I'm saying calling him out yeah, yeah, for, you get what I'm trying yeah, to say? Like dissing him on that. Well, because, I'm not really dissing him on it. It's just the No, fact not you. That, I'm saying people dissing him on it for the concept of being a hypocrite. Right, I'm right, saying right, I don't right. think those, I'm not even saying Rico. I'm saying that, 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 um, that concept I don't think would be poked at as much as a negative thing for Drake because he would be a hypocrite regardless of this because, yeah, you benefited. I mean, if you're suing anyone who is an artist that has benefited from that, you're su- you, for this reason, you're a hypocrite right. automatically. So you kind of can't take that away. I'm saying us uh, poking fun at it and being like, hey, you hypocrite. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. That's only happening, I think, because we know that he's doing this because – of selfish reasons it's from not like us. it's because of this this right, and right, that right, right, right. that's it's making like, yeah, you yeah, do yeah, this like that song why yeah that if this had nothing to do with the beef and drake just beat just sued them we wouldn't even be on him like that we'd be like hey yeah, yeah, yeah. even if he wasn't doing it still for us it would look different though right you know right that's why i think it's a really interesting 
the internet side is interesting. That what the actual case is interesting. Like mm-hmm. each side of it, and it's funny too how it's being reported. Like I know the the mm-hmm. headlines came out and everybody wanted to, to run with the Kendrick narrative, which is valid in a lot of sense for sure. Yeah, and for I mean, the jokes not too. like the, like like <laughs> us is named in it, and it's it's things it's about like the, the song the, yeah, yeah. catalyzed. But then you got to look at who's reporting some of this news, right? Mm. You look at like complex right oh who, their own who by, got a percentage of it is owned by universal by universal so like that's why I was of course yeah. it's going to be reported in a certain way I if i own complex, if you suing me and i own the outlet that's got to report it like of course it's not going to be in your favor so it's like not us having the root for the boy i mean shout out to no 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 look at you look at you look at you you know what i mean yeah <laughs> <laughs> Now it's all jokes, all jokes. As you know, yeah, I love Drake. Look, yeah. I'm the only one who loved uh, for all the dogs. I still play for all the dogs. Yeah. Damn it. With that being said, yeah, I know if you want to keep going, I know if I no 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 no. I mean, I feel like we hit everything yeah, we can hit. Like we we, we kind of like, 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 like kind of got to wait and see now where this is going to go, how far yeah. they're going to take it. Like, is Drake actually going to go all the way through? You think we'll know about the case in real time? I already think it's not deep enough of a case. No, I sure. I think we will. I think we will. Because like right now, it's only a petition, so it's not an actual full lawsuit. Like they're not going to court yet. Yeah, it's a petition too. Too, so it could, it could not. It could, it could not. So, but I'm trying to remember because I was. Because you seen what Universal said, right? No. They oh, put yeah, a statement yeah, yeah, yeah. out. It was like, I did, hey, bro, I did, I you did. You might want to sue Kendrick, not us. Like, I ain't, don't know. Ain't that crazy, though? Which is wild. Under the bus, nuts, mad yeah. quick, as yeah. if Kendrick asked for the bots. Even if y'all want to throw that out there, and let's say he did do it, I don't think that that is anything more than games of the battle, bro. If we really, if he really sure. did it, and games of like the music industry, Come like on, that's what bro. happens. Like, no, no, I'm saying Drake it, used bots when it pushes. No, 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 that, you're right. Do you where remember I'm them pushing T tweets? Stop. How he like was yeah. doing stuff with salamanders and yeah. stuff like that? Like that was all bots. No, this is what I'm saying. Because you're right. That is what I was saying. Is Kendrick? I don't think Kendrick is the one who did the bots, bro. Is Universal just choosing to do that because that's the the system. That is what their their uh, model. There you right. go. That's the model of what our artists. We're going to bot your shit to me, but. Even if he did say something, it's still for you. Get what I'm saying? Like, so I don't even think it matters either way. People are just trying to, you know. No, for sure. I think we smoked that. Look at us. Yeah, no, definitely. Like, like yeah. I talk about some, yeah, huh? being on our suits. No, nah, for sure. Mm, so where are we going after this? Where we where we taking? We doing? No we doing Gladiator? Because I did want to talk about the Super Bowl for a sec, but I guess. We oh yeah, we want to touch on that. I mean, I guess. Does, we you talking about the, does it change? Yeah, does this album change Kendrick Lamar's? Does Super the lawsuit Bowl? change anything? Is Drake is he performing not like us? When it, it does the lawsuit go through in time? Because if not, well, I don't think the lawsuit yeah. is going to stop him. Like I don't because it's again, it's not implicated. Kendrick is not implicated in a lawsuit at all. Right. But it's just like, but when he's still I feel legally like, not be allowed to play it if it's. Well, I don't know about not allowed, oh, but it's just like he would get sued. I mean, who gonna tell him he's not gonna be able to play it? I just thought because oh, right because this, the suing has nothing to do with that. Saw so making money off it. It's just the, nah, the strings just, it got in the yeah, the boosting of it. Okay, yeah, yeah, got you now. Yeah, yeah. True to hell, nah. Man, it ain't affecting nothing. Okay, actually, are we, is this album affecting it? Are we getting that's what I stuff? That was my thing. Is the the new album that is alleged affecting it, or is that what you were talking? About? Nah, you talking I mean, about the new nah, one? Nah, talking GNX? Know. Yeah, GNX. Yeah. 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 Uh, there's rumors that Kendrick has another album. I don't. I also don't even think that'll drop if that if it's true. I don't think it'll drop pre. If it does, wow, he's going crazy. Maybe he's got more, you know. But right, like, right, right. Um, even if he does that, I would. I could see maybe one song from that. So I don't think it changes too much, you know. But this G and X album, we said 15 minutes Super Bowl most of the time. 13. It's something, something real like random. It's something real specific. Uh. In my brain, before this album, Kendrick does all the bangers. DNA, uh, Humble, um, help me. This will come up by. Yeah. Um, swimming pools, probably. Swimming pools, swimming pools. Loyalty, maybe. That's the thing. Yeah, it's a hit. It's a hit, it's a hit right? Yeah, it's a huge yeah. song. Huge mm-hmm. song. Right. And then that Zenit brought a great point up before. He was like, that's how you bring out Rihanna. That's how you get the guests. Because I was even saying, I don't even know if we get guests now. Because I'm like, not that you would expect them anyway with a Kendrick Lamar performance, but I don't know what that set even looks like now. You know what I mean? And now, before this album, too, he wasn't on the West Coast. He, crazy, he wasn't on the West Coast vibe all the way. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The, that culture right now. So, right, you could get Taylor. To, that's my blood, point. Remix, bro, you like, could easy. Is Taylor Swift on the Super Bowl? And on top of it, bro, it's like, dog, he wasn't even on this West Coast culture stuff. I would have expected Kendrick's performance to be very deep. And you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, what's the word, bro? Like... If it's anything like his section on the, the Dr. Like, Dre, um, John, I don't know if y'all have seen 
the doctor, the West when Coast doctor, when he had his that Super Bowl, yes, yeah, yeah. If yes. it's anything like, similar to that, like it's that, gonna be crazy. I don't remember this much though, bro. His section, because he had oh, his section song. was crazy. No, it was amazing. But can you show me what? Tell me what it was like a little bit visually. Like what was he was moving around with a lot of dancers, right? Yeah, but it was like very like military, and they all had this yeah, same stuff on, like, almost like the formation together. Beyonce type of. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. right, and that's the lane. I thought he was going that, going BT Awards, going Grammy Award. That's originally what I thought, but now with GNX. Squad blood. Yo. <laughs> but they talk, man. They talk about nothing. They talk, man. They talk about nothing. Yo, they're going to be in there bicking and bulling and yeah. <laughs> crimping. I'm here. I'm Yo, here for it. More, is this, is this th- Can we get Peekaboo at the Super Bowl? I would love that. No. I'm being there throwing chicken wings. Yeah. <laughs> Peekaboo. I just got some buggers on my chain. Peekaboo. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this is why this again. Shout out to my dad. I thought it was really dope that Snoop Dogg thing. That's why he keeps poking at me because yeah. it's like, bro, we all are like talking like we in the West Coast. Yeah, we don't know. I shouldn't be able to do that. It probably is bad, yeah. but I'm saying like, you know, it's all love and jokes though. But it's just like that's crazy. Like we all. I bet if I see a white girl down the street in Colorado or something, she's gonna be peekaboo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I wouldn't be shocked. That's crazy. <laughs> Not in a bad way. Crazy like, wow, just look at hip hop to right. me. Not that's why I was like, wow, that's really cool. That's, that's yeah. kind of awesome. Not saying, not the, the gang part. All of that, different conversation. It's cultural. Cult- it's cultural. Right. It's there cultural. Culture, it's brother. cultural. Brother. It's culture, brother. It's culture. Melting pot. Yeah. Melting pot. America. <laughs> America. But anyway, yeah, that, uh, we, we, we touched on it enough. I just think it'll be interesting to see what his Super Bowl is. I do think he'll at least do, he'll add t- TV office. Going. If you don't do, what's that? Yeah, and he got it. You're do that. nuts. No, nah, for sure. You're not, it, it, That's a moment already. What? Before he even did it. We didn't even talk about the corporations literally all tweeting. Mustard. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. Why are they doing that? Hey, man, they're trying to get in on the, on the fun. Uh, but there's, there's something going fun. on. They're getting that engagement, that engagement. Oh, you think that's all it is? Oh, yeah. Okay, just trying to like use the I mean, moment. Engagement turns into. Blood. I didn't know if it was no smart. You're right. I'm overthinking it. You thought it simply, and it's probably that. I'm thinking it's like he. Promoting it, like doing little, it's like you know, backdoor. Yeah. But I only thought that because do you remember? Well, do this real quick and we'll get off. Do you know what was going on with Playboy Card the last couple of weeks? If it died oh, yeah. down, yeah. what the <laughs> hell was that about? That was crazy. No, what like, was why that was all about? the NBA teams and NFL teams like why? I don't and know. with a picture of him with the did you plan that card? Yeah. Yo, what's going on? Yeah, it was weird, that is right? Interesting. I had no idea. Whoever it, did that behind the scenes, bro, shout out to them. Shout out to them because I purposely was like, oh, the album's coming then. That's and what made never, me think it, it never came. came. And I never actually expect before that I didn't like expect a Cardi album to come. Trust me. I'm not one of the, I, I feel like when they drop, we're not going to expect it. Ever, because that's him. That's my it's Kanye. He takes the Kanye thing. You're not you're not supposed to know when it's gonna come out. So like anyway, I just thought that was interesting. It's like, what is going on behind? Are you Kendrick? Is this have to do? Are you Cardi as well? What <laughs> man, man, I'm on this. But anyway, that was fun. Yeah, for um, sure, for sure. What's what's next, bro? We doing um, Gladiator and uh what's the John? Piano lessons. Yeah, so you do glad what and you seen Gladiator and Piano Lesson, and then we do Alex Perez. Yes. So let's do it real quick. All right. you, you do Gladiator. I'll do I'll do the Piano Lesson first since it's like not as known as Gladiator. Sure. Start. Yeah, make it real quick. Oh, yeah. uh, I, should, I should pop up. No. You do Gladiator because I, I can know. pop up the info okay. for both. All right. Say less. There you go. So I got a chance to see Gladiator 2. Man, I got thoughts. So. Um, <laughs> the way you said it. Oh, <laughs> snaps. No, no, no. It was a cool movie. I'll give it like a 6.5 out of 10. Seven out of ten, something like that. Okay. Um, you said six point five. Mm-hmm. Seven. Damn, no, the six sound crazy. It, do, it does. That's why I had to jump into seven because I'm like, nah. nah. <laughs> it was. A, it's a good movie. Is it that bad? Be honest. No, though. it's not is bad. It 6. F- is it six point five? Be honest. No, nah, I, I, uh, my I rating you. scale gets weird sometimes. But that's so. Like, that's okay. why I had to do okay. the seven. Right. But um, no, nah, I thought it was a good movie. It was fun. It was action packed. It was fun. Um, I did have some issues with. If you need any names, I got you. Okay, okay. I did have some issues with uh. How they promoted certain characters, how they use certain characters later in the film. Mm. Um, I do feel like they kind of underuse Pedro a little bit, especially how they marketed the film using him and Paul. And use, Giselle, it as a trick. use it as a little. Yeah, yeah, because you're thinking, all right, him and you think he's going to be one way. And not that that's a bad thing, but it's just like I was expecting more of him. Right. And I feel like we didn't get the. The most out of Pedro in this yeah. film as much as we, I think we could have. It's like when The Hangover came out and they were promoting that Mike Epps was in it. And then I seen it and I was like. He was in it for like one scene. Oh, there's Mike Epps. <laughs> 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 just, just not the same thing at all, yeah. but it's close. It wasn't that. No, no, no. I know, he I'm actually kidding. had, he had, he had scenes. Had scenes I know, I'm making yeah, all It's not like yeah. he wasn't in the movie. <laughs> for sure, for sure. I just yeah. feel like um, you're expecting a relationship to be one thing and then it's not that. and Which is fine because I love how they twisted things yes. up. I love how they called back to the other movie, which 
Some people could say borderline a little bit too much, mm. but I, I do love the, the connections. Wow, I heard people feel like they. Um, uh, I heard some people say they varied off too much from the original. What do you mean by so, that? I don't know. I didn't see it. Very story off. wise, story wise, like, like what, what I guess maybe connect. I, I assumed it was connection just off of what that meant because they said that was those words. I just heard someone say, "I feel like they var- they yeah they varied off of a." a of the story of the of whatever the original story was, I guess connecting to Russell Crowe, but didn't he die? Yeah, so it's like and what they showed been... like they showed that they showed parts of the original movie in there right. doing the so connect the certain want? dots and stuff. So like, I mean, can I get spoilery? Can yeah. I spoil? Don't do like do you have to do the biggest one? No, it's not the biggest That's fine. one. Well, I mean, it's a twist. Uh, just go away. I don't care. All right, spoiler warning. If you haven't seen Gladiator two, I hope you have though. Please check it out. Yeah. Um. So, like, there's a twist in the, in the film when you find out. I feel like well, this might not even be the craziest news that we find out Paul. Well, Paul's Mescal's character. No, that just sound crazy. It might not be the craziest news, but as a. As a, as a no, but I, think, as I a feel feeling, like we kind of knew that, though, going into the movie that the, that's how it connected to the original. Like, he was. The oh, son. no, yeah, we knew that. Him being the son. We knew that. It's, it's how he finds out in the movie, though, because okay. he didn't know that. Wait, uh, maybe I'm still confusing you, Zan. I apologize. Are you, are you talking about Paul Mescal being. No. No. Okay, <laughs> that's when I I didn't want no, to do no, that no, one. No, no, All right, no, no, cool. No, that's not. He told me something else. I said, "Hey, oh, that's kind of no, hot." No, no, All right, cool. No, no, you know no. what I was talking about, right? The Paul, like Pedro's relationship with Paul's mom. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, look at you. You already giving me that. <laughs> but it's all right. I tried to I tried to help y'all. He gotta, he I, said hold spoiler on. Warning. I said spoiler he did, warning. If he did, you got to get a new one. It's all right. Go ahead. Yeah. But, but no, you're talking about Russell Crowe. Being the uh, Paul Mascow's yeah, son, yeah, 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 we knew that. We knew yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They promoted. It's just interesting how they how they they played it in the film, mm. where like other people found out before him, and then knew, and then like he wanted to find out later, and then really believe it, and then he kind of knew, too, and to an extent. Mm. It was interesting how they played that. I mean, because you I, could say he knew because he was he wasn't a child, he wasn't a baby right, when he got sent away, kid. so he should remember. But that but could be also, ch- depends. P- genuinely, people deal with trauma different. No joke. Like, not especially true. kids. So he just could have not. He could have not. True. Because they sent him away. Yeah. And then that's why he's where he's at. Where at he's the at. beginning of the movie. And he just don't remember much about I mean, that. I don't know if he remembers or he doesn't. Because the way he, he kind of plays it, it interesting. Because play, uh, there's a scene when the I mom like comes and, like, yo, I'm sorry. Like, she pulls up. Like, she's damn near, like, high class in the, in the joint now. Like, she's damn near. Pedro's a general of the army for the king. So like that's his wife. Like so she's up there. So she literally comes to where the slaves at. He's a slave. Wow. She pulls up on him and is like, "Yo, I'm sorry. I love you. Like you mm. always been loved. Like we didn't send you away because I didn't love you. I didn't protect you type stuff." And he's like, "Yo, get out of here. Get get out of my mm. face. I don't believe nothing you saying." Type, 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 type. But then it's like I feel like you knew this already. Type time. You know what I mean? Like I feel like he knew deep down for real how she felt. You I saying that he who he was who he was. Or, yeah, yeah. Okay. Because it was more her like yo. Because he's saying you know you you you. He was like, yo, your son is dead type time. And she was like, nah, like, I'm sorry. Like, it was just like, yo, you're, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want to, yeah. That's interesting. Now, man, you know, got me kind of excited. Because yeah. I was going to ask you one more question. How do you, just plain and simply, how did you feel about the story? Everyone and their mom is saying the same thing to me recently. It's been either, no, not the same thing. Around around the same though, visuals all good. Everyone loves the visual. The visual looks very good. Denzel is Denzel. He's For incredible. Sure. He's For the sure. best part. Sure. Uh, he uh, had so much. You could tell he had fun. Fun. You, I knew that in the trailer, bro. I yeah. seen the first trailer. I said he had a fucking blast. But no, don't wait let till you him see the movie. Like, wait till you see the stuff that they it's didn't crazy. show in the trailer. Oh, man. Him interacting. With I'm people very excited. Like, That's so what I wanted to see. All of his like. Does he yeah. get some moments with Pedro? What does he get moments with Pedro? Like good enough? No. Nah, what when I doing? told you they didn't really utilize Pedro, like I thought they should. Enough in general, though. In general, nah. I'm did, trying did to think Joseph of the get some have. moments with Pedro? Yes. Okay, we get a little twisted. I'm not saying story. I'm just saying yeah, because he Joseph is the king. Yeah, and he acted twisted as scene in it yeah, too. Yeah, All right, I'm very ready for similar that. to like I wanted that Joaquin Phoenix's character. Okay. Oh, you know, got it. Like wow. just the way he moved, and it might have been inspired in the scene, possibly. Right? Okay. Sure. Wow. Good callback. But anyway, um, wait. We already did. You want to do Denzel? Like? We are talking about Denzel. You talking about the Black Panther thing? And did you? I was gonna to? wait to the next because he also connects the piano lesson, so we can kind of piggyback off. All of right, that. bang, bang, bang. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, because that was my question. Then we'll go right to piano lesson. The story. How did you feel about the story? I thought the story was cool. I had my gripes with the way that, like, the ending of the third act of the movie kind of went. Um, right. I feel like character motivations were things got a little fat. To me, it got a little rushed on mm. certain the way they did certain stuff. Like once the one thing happens, it just like. And then Denzel started doing things. And I'm like, bro, I didn't even know that's what you wanted. Uh, and now motive, it's like you, yeah. you twisting everything up to get 
something that we didn't really I don't think maybe I was missing something. I just wasn't clear that that was his motive. Mm. And it was just like, oh, all right. Um okay. That's where we at right and now. That sucks when it happens. At and the he just had to Yeah, oh. yeah, and then like he meets his demise and I'm just like, "Oh, all right." And then, there we go. That's and that. He's done. That's that. So, yeah. Gladiator 2. Yeah. Got you. Cuz I did hear I didn't hear that specific the specifics. You're giving me more detail. A lot of people were just like, "Yeah, man, I enjoyed everything about the movie, but like the story was eh. Everyone. That's just meant, simply said like that. And I'm just like, "Really?" Yeah. Everyone's like, "Yeah, it's okay." Yeah. I'm like, "Damn." Yeah, yeah. So, I, now that gives me insight though to why maybe they, it just got maybe they did some twists and some turns that kind of didn't hit all the way. Same. It was like things that we kind of knew already okay. with a few things that were like, oh, okay. Tease that. All right, so all right, this person and who right, I thought this right. person was type of, You know what I mean? Right. Like, oh, I didn't Was maybe. it too obvious, you're saying? Was it like. What do you mean? The, 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 the twist? The twist. Was no, because I felt like, the, again, the twist to me was. Don't go too crazy. No, nah, the twist uh, the, we talked about it already. I feel like the twist already was the page. Well, not Pedro. Well, that's why not was the Pedro part. Not, not that one. Uh, <laughs> that was the Paul. The Paul messed up. Paul. Okay. Son thing. But is it like, the twist? You, that's why I don't think that the. I think the twist it, is the one you can't say. But even that's not even a twist, really. Is it a twist? Like it's not really a twist. It's not though. It's really not. Spoiler again. He already told Spoiler me. So we'll warning. talk about it. We'll talk okay, about it. Why okay, not okay. a twist? Say it. Say it. All right. So. Pedro is married to Paul Mescal's wife. Paul Mescal's right. mom's. Right. Paul Mescal's mom. <laughs> right, 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 right. And then you find out like he actually is not a bad guy. Because in the first, beginning of the movie. This is the twist. By Paul Mescal's wife mm-hmm. gets killed mm-hmm. by the king's army. Yes. That's how he becomes a slave. Because he's actually not a slave at the beginning of the movie. Oh, I didn't he's, know that he's, he's, he's crazy. He's doing well. He's married See, and stuff. Movie, don't but then like the, the war happens. His wife wanted to get hit with a stray. And he just sees Pedro. And he's like, oh. You brought them here. I hate you. I want to kill you. So that's like his motivation yeah, 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 yeah. for the for, first half of the movie is he once he becomes a slave. That's crazy. He wants Pedro's head, like right, cause because you brought you brought that shit over to, here. To, to me, and my yeah, wife, and my yeah. wife died because of it. But that's the twist. Of what I'm saying, if he found out that he a real good guy, and it, and, and and it and really like and, motive, it, and she called it straight. It wasn't like he did it. It wasn't like Pedro so, hit her with so the arrow. Double twist then. Really, yeah. the motive changes him. And yeah. that's where I'm not saying it's like oh my god reveal, but it's a twist to where oh shit. Perspective in the movie, like, you know what I'm saying? We're following him. He's the hero right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. And now we got to move over here now. You know what I'm saying? Right, that, right. Because so, it was just, yeah, because that was a perspective kind of shift. It was more of a perspective shift. Than yeah, a, than, than a, a twist, twist, right? Yeah, because it was just so, like, just oh, wording, right, he, not, he not who I thought he was type time. True, you know what I mean? True, and it's like, true. okay. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. But honestly, it still sounds enjoyable. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm excited. If anything, to, watch it for Denzel because he's not. Oh, you don't got to tell me I'm going to... But now at this point, maybe I shouldn't say that. I don't know if I'm gonna pay for it though. I'm gonna, <laughs> we'll see. Wicked though is getting my brag. Yeah, we didn't get a chance to watch that yet, but I'm hearing it's one of the best this year. Obviously, you see they try to combine it. Shout out to uh, the Ages of Fandom yeah, team. Okay. I don't even know how do you crazy. say it. Like, is it? I don't like it. You can try it. Is it glicked? I don't like. That it. That sounds crazy. That sounds disgusting. And then <laughs> when you read it, it looks like glicked. And I don't like that as well. And that's so, not like weapons. So it's like. <laughs> I'm thinking the lit. Either way, it's the, not the blicky, good. The blick it? The like, blick it? Ooh. <laughs> then you see Ariana and Cynthia back to back. <laughs> oh, no, man. That's crazy. Definitely check out uh, Age of Fandoms, um, Wicked and Gladiator breakdown from their last episode. Shout out to Ryan and. Yeah, the gang. And, uh, the gang. TJ and, yes. and uh, Adam. Oh, but all right, man. Thank you for. Um, um, Buffering for me. Mm-hmm. Um, the piano lesson uh, came out. We kind of talked about it, right? Did we? I, I swore, don't think we I did. Mm, maybe we had off the pot. To, we did, off the pot for off sure. The pot. Okay. So yeah, the piano lesson. Not like uh, I don't know if any of you guys were expecting it, but it is a I guess a Washington family. I'm saying this is sticking to the Washington. Yeah, that's how we're. Uh, you got a Washington directing it, a Washington starring in it. Yeah, starring in it and producing it and producing it and again they keep like in the cast bro it says the mom is in it oh wow. i watch she is oh i was it's crazy she just don't talk okay i don't want to spoil the two movie too much for you guys though but um is she like a ghost or, oh, okay. in a way so that's why. A, let me ask you this question because yeah, before you really get into it is yeah. this like a supernatural movie it's a horror movie that's, oh. a, that's a little bit of, i won't lie to you that's a little bit of my gripes with it but i still because really it definitely wasn't marketed that way 
Because I watched the trailer I did ask When we watched the trailer I but did ask I like, you, uh, did, uh, it, Is this like some other things Going on in this movie That I'm that, not seeing That Because at first you're thinking It's just one thing And I'm like Hold up Didn't they add Didn't they poke at something And I'm like so hold the, up But that's that? the thing though Zan Because I'm exactly With how you felt I do think that they per- Okay Perspective so interesting When I saw the trailer Because of those little things They did That was a little Oh little tr- What's going on there I thought it was horror already. So I kind of already am expecting not a horror movie, but I'm expecting something like I'm going to find out more about that than I'm going to find out more about anything else. Right. You know what I'm trying right, to say? Right. There's some horror aspect. Right. So I had different expectations. I think that might have messed me up a little bit because I feel like watching this entire movie. I wonder what John they call say it is. Is this telling me? No, I'd have to look it up. It's fine. But. I want it's it's interesting the way they play it, bro. It's like it's very exactly what you think it is at first. Mm-hmm. For a most of the movie, they poke at the horror aspect maybe only three times in the whole film. Wow, three different scenes. But the last scene is when it it's like, oh, the horror thing is here. It's like whatever ghost or something situation is here. All of the 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 ghostly stuff is based in the piano, mm. and it's like some slave. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. It's, and it's deep and good. Like, all of that aspect is really good. And the performances by, let's get into the cast. John David Washington did a really good job. Samuel Jackson, Samuel Jackson, he always does, does good. Oh, my God. Let me say the. the How was Ray Fisher? Woman's name. Really? Like, dude, get away from Zack Snyder. <laughs> like, not like incredible, but I'm like, yeah. like, if you see him on there, I don't want to say it the wrong way. He, he's, he's like a, you know, like a. Uh, uh, when we see movies like this, they'll have like, like a black dude that's like a country bumpkin, kind of slow, mm-hmm. like a little, a little slower than everybody else, mm-hmm. you know. And he's like a big guy, kind of. That's him. But when I mean he played it, like if I didn't know that cyborg, that's not cyborg. You're this dude, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Right. So like, it re- I think really good job. Right. Um, that's awesome. Danielle Deadweiler, she played Bernice. She's like the main. Um, Was she an actress uh, in it? Peacemaker. No, 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 never mind. She's Wrong in joy. things though. She's she's like I see, nah, I have you seen her face before? Yeah, yeah, she's in stuff. Yeah, she's in some stuff. I just first time I personally have seen her, I think though. Okay. She was really good. About really good. I didn't know that. Bro, out of nowhere, she's singing. Great. She's great as an actress though. Bro, and oh, she she, she was a singer though. Okay. But it was dope though. They like utilized her though. Like right. two different scenes. They let her get it off for a sec. But no, nah, man, everyone did a really good job. Um, even Steven James, the one that almost got Green Lantern, mm-hmm. he did flashbacks. And he didn't do much. Like a, like a lot of the movie also, there's some people that talk a lot and there's sometimes there's some people that are acting a lot without talking. So it's mm-hmm. a mix of a lot of cool things. Mm-hmm. And shout out to Malcolm Washington directing it. Di- direct, direction is amazing. Like I gen- really cool takes on certain things and, and it was really intimate when he wanted you to dive into this and pay attention to this in a certain way. I even want you to see it because I don't want to, since it's not too much of a hard thing because that's my only gripe and then I'll go away from this, sorry. But um. Uh, when they got to the horror thing at the end, when they find like the ending of that, the way they portrayed it visually was really cool because it wasn't like ah, ah, a ghost, like ah. it wasn't scary looking, right. but it, it's a ghost. You could tell it's a ghost. You could tell it's some souls that it's vibe, but it was portrayed a way different, more more deep and more scary based on these people are possessed or something, but right. not not actually the content, right. and especially being black. You know, it was dope. It was really cool how they how they how they did that story. I don't know where that story came from. That was really cool. Anyway, my only thing, damn, it was just like, I wanted to be a little scared. That was all. Okay. I wish if the movie scared me, like the movie was actually playing into the horror aspect of it with the stuff they actually had, mm-hmm. that might have been a fire. Like, I'm t- like, right. whoa, Apparently, like I'm everybody goes, goes see it. Play. That's what I thought. They said it's August Wilson, so maybe that's yeah. why they didn't dive in. Never mind. August Wilson defenses. So this is me. Oh, okay, this is my okay, fault. Okay, it's okay. not as horror. Maybe they try to tease the horror for entertainment to poke out for a trailer because the horror aspect wasn't in it. That's the only reason why I'm like it was, but it wasn't played with enough. But anyway, with knowing that they did an amazing job, mm-hmm. great acting, great, great performances. Yeah, yeah. You should check it out. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. Anyway, and before we get off the Washington family, yeah. Uh, we weren't able to talk about this last episode, and I definitely wanted to poke at it. Yeah. Just to uh, poke at it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, Denzel Washington did an interview during the press run no for more. Gladiator, and he was speaking on like things he has planned for the rest of his career. Yes, he did. And one thing that he talked about was that he is planning on being in Black Panther 3, <sighs> and Ryan Coogler is, is writing his role as we speak. We won. We won. So I know it was a lot of speculation on who he could be, I honestly don't know. I'm not that versed in <laughs> like, original Black character. Panther lore yeah. outside of like the main yeah. T'Challa, Shuri, Koye, uh 
some of the newer characters, mm-hmm. to, to, uh, to, Tosin, um, things like that. But like, I am very excited to who he could be because I know, I know Ryan ain't playing. Especially his dead Come on, bro. Come on. Like, and Ryan, no. Yeah, if y'all hear Ryan speak three sentences, you'll be like, oh, he going to get it. Yeah. You know? Like, yeah. Ryan wanted to, he like us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Ryan, yeah, yeah. Ryan front of the home team. Like, he get it. Um, right. I'm not going to lie, y'all. I'm geeking right now. This news old. Like, I'm geeking. Like. Still. I, you, he brought it up before. He was like, yo, we can talk about Denzel today. I'm like, oh, my God, yes. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, I don't even know how to speculate. I'm going to be honest. Ryan is one of us two ways. That's why I really like Ryan Coogler. He's a nerd too. Oh, for sure. Like he's really a nerd. Wait, like was a comic, but mm-hmm. like in a, a crate baby to an extent. So like, I don't know if he's gonna be a Black Panther person. Yeah, he might. What do you mean by that? Like when you say Black Panther person, what does that mean? Someone that is Black Panther lore. It doesn't mean. Oh, that. like somebody from the Marvel comic universe. Yeah. Mm. It doesn't mean that on either side. It's speculative because I mean, I feel like I'm a, I'm a, I'm a. Play devil's advocate on that one because I feel like with Ryan, I do think he's pretty versed in Black Panther, Black Lord, Panther lore, yes, he Wakandan. He made sure of that as story, well. The double like, when it comes yep. to the comic book and yes, stuff yes, like that. Yep. Um, I'm not sure where he's gonna go with this next that's, movie. That's my like that's just where there the story goes. Yes, because I don't like. By the way, we might be in a new universe. That's what I'm that's saying. My, I don't know where that's this is point. gonna fall. Like just based on the MCU point. currently and what they planning on yes, doing sir. with Avengers and yes, stuff sir. like that. So, um, I am very interested to see the story for this movie. Where we that's go? What yeah, I'm very very interested with the story for the movie. Is this the final Black Panther film with him? Is it with Ryan Coogler? Yeah, don't you dare, Ryan. <laughs> right. I'm just asking because it's the third one, and it's you know usually in MCU you get trilogies, and once the third one if is, Taika, they if Taiki can make that shit that he made, <laughs> I don't give a <laughs> fuck. I'm mad. Look, I'm cursing, bro. I, that, <laughs> that made me hot, Ryan. I will send letters. I mean, it seemed like he's kind of in control of the Wakandan, um, like space. That. So like, get that, get that man his domain and leave him alone. Yeah. But it's also too like it's just like man, how long do you think he wants to do that and not do other things? You know what I mean? Till, but they they did lock him he in. Look like <laughs> they did lock him in. Uh, T'Chaka. <laughs> they did lock him in. Him and him. And, um, I think it's Proximity Media. It's his um production company. So mm-hmm. I know they did a deal with Marvel mm. a while back. I forgot. They, that. I think it was like before Black Panther oh. two came out. Oh yeah. So we we here for a little bit. I forgot about that. Yeah, that deal can't be. Small. That's why we got Wakanda. Eyes of Wakanda that. that's coming. That's and all, that's how that's he worked there. with Ironheart. Yeah, I think that they're like producing that as well. Yeah. I could be wrong. But I think I they are. So. I, I think they so. are. Okay, he's involved okay. with that a lot. That's heavily. my thing. And now you kind of playing in Ironheart world, like you produce an Ironheart. Yeah. So it's like, bro, you better. Yeah, don't you leave us. We'll see. Don't you leave. I'm us. hoping he sticks around, but also I don't see why he wouldn't. Though. Um, yeah, I don't see why he wouldn't. Yeah, I just have. I, I just got ideas for that. Play there, go, go, like, go. For two reasons, I'm like I, I want him to stick around because I feel like he didn't. With the passing of, um, of Chadwick yeah, and, the, and T'Challa leaving and not mm. being able to use that character. He didn't really get to... He didn't really get to use T'Challa what he probably wanted like the to way do. he wanted to what do wanted it and to tell do. that story. Great point. So I do yeah. wish that... Mm. I hope that he sticks around for that reason. Mm. But also... That's a beautiful reason, If he too. doesn't, mm. getting a different take on Whoever that T'Challa would also be cool. the Black Panther would also be cool, too. So I Sam, feel like what the both fuck ways. are you doing? Can you not make? My, I'm like feel emotional with that. This. this is no. That's a great dude. I'm, I'm yeah. Like, you smoked that. I feel like you didn't. You um brought out two different perspectives that I didn't think mm-hmm. about why he should say and go. I I, I want him to say selfishly. Yeah. Clearly, uh, yes, I'm selfish yeah. for this as a fan, but. I didn't think about that reason why he should say. That's a great one. And mm-hmm. then the second one, why he would go, not why he would go, but how dope that would be for another black person to get that opportunity as well to try to now you have me bro you that's why i'm like don't do that i'm like i'm mm-hmm. thinking of black people like well, who could do it yeah like i'm like who's next yeah. you know and i feel like it might oh, be somebody man. you don't expect just because don't expect somebody like young him. you didn't expect him to get this Never. and do what he did with Never. this so i feel like you got fruitful station now you got that you yeah. got marvel yeah and not only did he get to do that at back to back he knocked out the part you know what I mean? So we Ryan, bro, Ryan. If you not doing nothing, <laughs> we're we're free, man. We're sure yeah, you can just come on. Come through I also those. loved. I don't know if you ever watched it or listened to it because I think they I didn't get a chance. The one with him and um, Jordan Phil. Yeah, was amazing. Our, our, our shout out our, uh, shout out CC for that recommendation. That was amazing. Like yeah, 
the filmmaker lover in us, mm-hmm. like, and they just picking brains at each other, like really, like That's just awesome. sitting on a couch. Oh, it was That's awesome! awesome. No, it was I'm really good. Out. I think it's like two parts too. I don't even know if I finished it. I might gotta go back. Right. Anywho, yeah. Anywho, um. Look, look at this. This is why I was scared about Denzel because we could go rabbit hole. I'm, nah, gonna, I'm having so much fun. I'm going to try to end it real quick. Okay, Zen opened my mind a little bit. He might, he's, there's more, by the way, I'm aware, there's more of a chance he won't play someone outside of the lore of Black Panther than he, than for him to. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm with that. I just don't know because, again, we don't know all this other speculations. We don't know what universe we're going to be in. I'm assuming we're going to be in a new one, right? Don't know if it's Shuri Black Panther. Or if it's T'Challa Black Panther. I have no idea. With that being said, that both can change multiple layers of characters and stories that can be told. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, and for all we know with Ryan, he could literally be making an original character. Because it went hit from Ryan. I'm not surprised either yeah. way. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So that's why I'm like, maybe I'm just poking for helpful wish. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'm just like, make him. <laughs> Oh god damn it. <laughs> just, just, just do something crazy. Yeah. Make him something nuts. I don't yeah. know. I just want is he, I, let me ask you another question. Is, is he, he villain? staying? Is oh, he is he a villain? villain? Is he or is he not a villain? He a villain. He a villain. Because I would like that. I just feel like where he at in his career. I can't see that Denzel playing a hero right now. Can you almost? Like visually, can you see him be in a Marvel universe setting? Can you see him, him being a villain playing? would be dope, right? I Especially just like with the way he, that Ryan's been writing his villains, I feel like Black and the Panther, way that he's been playing his last couple people. Equalizer, he a hard ass, yeah. What's Gladiator? Gladiator he's he's an assassin villain, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then Macbeth, I know you even see Macbeth. He twisted a bit, like yeah, yeah, yeah. he trying to be twisted right yeah, now, yeah, yeah, you know? Because yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I'm like the way Ryan has wrote the villains. We got Killmonger and we got Namor, mm. very great villains. All right, can we get off this topic? Right, <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a whoever stay, he decides bro. to be, if we get a villain, I feel like Yo, he's going to write that joint crazy. I will stay here for four hours. And I'm like, I already can think of what they can do and, uh, with what kind of after what happened with what kind of forever. Stop, stop, like, stop, stop. I, could, stop I know, some, I know some Black Panther things that happened to the Wakanda that... This is your this fault. This is your fault. We're yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking here now. <laughs> <laughs> what universe do you want? Do you want... And be honest. I'm, this, forget to uh, recast Chala people. Do you want Shuri T'Challa story? Do, I'm asking you a question now. Do you want Shuri T'Challa or do you want T'Challa? I don't even care. I want. I I'm will, into both. I like. I'm interested. I want. I want. I, I want her story to conclude. Okay. However, that may be. So Whether maybe yes, because of her that. passing the mantle over to to T'Challa. the son. Right. Right. Yeah. I, okay. I kind of wanted to see that. So you wanted. You were kind of not expecting, but we're hoping to see that be finished out. Yeah. Not mad at that. Okay. With that being said. What, do you think that's in the new universe or the old universe? Like, not what do you want. What do you think will happen? See, I, I'm I'm curious. Like right. that, has, that, that opens more questions to me because yeah, I'm like exactly, dude. It's on Feige. Like it is. Do they? Feige is somebody who stands on business, though. He stands on like you can say whatever you want about his choices. Yeah, he stands on it when oh, he makes a choice. 100%. So I Look, feel like he ran the turtles to the dirt and they didn't win nothing. Nothing that he said was going to happen. And he was still stand happen. on it if you talk to him. Like yo. Eternals is like that. Stop yeah, playing with it. It is what it is. Hope that we can so get I them to come like back. So I feel like he's going to stand on the Love decision that, that they too. made with Shuri in Black Panther 2 to give her the mantle Great way to think and finish that. that out. I don't think, think he's going to, just because the new universe, we're not backing out. Run we're, from not, that. we're not running. I don't feel like they're going to use the, Damn, the reset bro. to run from things that they started that they that maybe didn't work. Yeah, duh. And not and that Black Panther 2 didn't work. Because I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. You're just talking about. I just I know, but I know how people feel about that movie for many different reasons. And they're valid. But mm. I feel like don't damn. I don't. I don't think he's gonna run from that though. I feel like he's gonna. They're gonna stand on that. Really, I don't feel like Ryan wants to run from that. I feel like they want to stand on I, that I, I agree and, and they conclude that story and make and, a beautiful and, trilogy. Exactly. Just like they. Just like they handled what what kind of forever. I feel like you see that. I'm. I have nothing but the highest Zen, amount of faith like for right now. what they're gonna do with the third one. Oh my god, you just snapped. Because I agree with every. I don't. I can't not disagree. I can't disagree with you. I literally can't, based on knowing the mindset, not knowing mm-hmm. it, but thinking of what we know of these human beings: Ryan Coogler, Kevin Feige. I don't because it's no way. This might veer off too much. What's I don't want to keep it. Whatever your answer is, try to keep it. We short. might gotta not talk yeah, about yeah, yeah, yeah. the other. Now nah, we talking about that, but like, oh man, all right, because I'm ready. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready to stay here. All right. Okay. Do you, um, what's up? Because my 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 interpretation of what they about to do with this reset thing. I feel yes. like they're going to add, not take away. But what do you think? As far as like, like you, we were, great, about the, we were talking about the, we were talking about the, 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 I know what you're talking about. 
the uh, the lore and the, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I feel like we're adding pieces. We're not going to take wow. pieces away. I think neither of those options. I think we're uh, what's the word? Just uh, black for better. We're melting pot. I think melting pot. I think we're. I think again, that's what ass. I mean. But I feel like okay. there's more adding pieces. I think it's both. Or do you? What do you think? What do you what think? What do you think will be, be taken away? Yeah. Keep it short. Well, we really go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Thank you for saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know we could go. Okay. I don't think Shuri's Black Panther. Mm. See, but then that's that's again, that's up. what I'm saying. That's I don't why, know. I don't feel then, like that's they, why I'm hurting. I, I know. feel like he's gonna stand then, on that. I feel like they're gonna stand on that. That's why you blew my mind. That's why you blew my mind just now. I don't think you know what you said. <laughs> you said that, and I was like, <laughs> "What are they gonna do?" I don't. This is why. This is nothing. I want to. I want what you said. I want what you look. Am I crying? This shit is real to me. No, like this shit. I got chills. That's why. Okay, Shuri, yo. I feel like they want that trilogy to end. I want that trilogy to end and do exactly whatever this story, because it's working for us. For the one that's working for it's amazing. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I want that, but dude, I don't think that the rules are the work. You know how Kevin gave. Remember what Tom Holland said the other day? Sometimes the rules of this universe and the powers that be because of what the narrative, I'll make it simpler, mm-hmm. of this universe, mm-hmm. I got a role. I can't, you know, if I can't go do this, can't go do this. Yeah, you get what I'm trying to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The rules are whatever the rules are. You can't, I can't dip and bend because I'm a. I'm, I'm, I I want to make a cool movie. Right. You know. So right, because right, of right, that, right. It, that's where I'm like I'm speechless. I'm like, mm-hmm. dude, I don't know what they're gonna do unless, and I think people be pissed. So I don't think they'll do that. Yeah. They brought them together. Yeah. And no way, no way we have both. At the same time, it's no way, right? I, I would just thought about that when you were talking about that. That's but the I don't only know. way. That's I the only know. way we get me, meaning. But I think uh, T'Challa will still be mad. The recast people, they'll still be angry. But like, that's the best medium. But do you, I don't know if that world. I just don't. I don't. I don't think, think that I don't, exists. I, don't I really think don't gonna, think. Is that in the comic? I'm really trying to think of them. Does that exist at some point? Same yes. time? Yeah. yeah not, Black Panthers. Like right now, no. But that's like okay. it has but, before. But yes. two Black Panthers. Yeah. Okay, that's a little different, and I know yeah, that. I didn't yeah, know that. Yeah. That changes it. Mm-hmm. I mean, when she was, he was too. But it just he he was the king of the dead. So like he he was uh, he no, was just dealing with that's some, that time. That's that time. Yeah, that's why she had to take it over because he wasn't. He had Kevin. To to, yeah, we might have just. How old is he when during that time? Regular age, most of the time he's, he's no. When he's king he of the dead, when he's oh, because he died Sorry. younger. He died younger. He didn't die the older T'Challa. I mean. 20s, 30s? No, I was wondering, okay. Got something like that? Got it. Yeah. It almost got really crazy, but I'm not going to yeah. do that. He wasn't older, no. Okay, got it. Yeah. You seen what I was about to do, right? Yeah. I was like, whoa. Yeah, no yeah, way, though. Yeah, yeah. No way. But okay, but imagine what we want. Damson Idris, and he comes back through some month or whatever. That'll the be hard. Shit. He's King of the Dead, and sure, he gets her last movie as Black Panther. That'll be hard. And she goes off in the sunset or whatever. Yeah. And he still has a son. That'll be tough. It's interesting. I mean, I feel like it's it's that's a whole nother conversation. We might have to say that for another. Why do we do this? Yeah, damn, like, we going really, crazy. We right might have to talk about the reset and what what that. I means think we should have like a like reset topic. And all of it, MCU, all the rules. Like, what do we want to see taken away? Let's what do, do we want to see come Actually, back? Actually, let me write it down so we don't forget that. No, for that's sure, that's a great topic. Maybe for the next app. No, for that's sure, a great for sure, topic. For sure. But while you do that, though, we're gonna go to our last topic today. Yes. And, I, and it was something I seen on Twitter. I just thought would would be it is a good one. And it was no uh, diss to Alex. Pratt. It was just we were getting so busy in that. I'm like, yeah, we might gotta stay here. <laughs> nah, for sure. I just want. I just thought it was an interesting conversation. It is at peace, and I just want to talk about yeah. that. So Alex Perez, he's from the Cosmic Circus. South to Alex Perez of the Cosmic Circus. Um, he had posed a question on Twitter, and he has shared his thoughts with it. And I thought it was a very interesting concept because mm-hmm. you know. Marvel news, movie news, DC news, all the movie news in general, but a lot of the fandom cape stuff, you get a lot of leaks and rumors. Yeah. People knowing things early about things. And let's and be kinda, real. It's been getting a little, uh, maybe besides recently because they're cleaning it up. It's yeah. been getting worse over the years. Yeah, like, it got a little like, out of hand like, at one point. Crazy. For sure. For I sure. should not see literal, like the three spider Remember that? That, I feel like, was the, the, the peak break. of it. We seen three Spider-Men with green screens behind them. That's crazy. I shouldn't see that. You right. know what I mean? No, for sure. Yeah. So- all right, I'm, I'm going to read the tweet, and then we're kind of just going into yes, it. Um, mm-hmm. Alex Perez, he says, I've been seeing discussion about scoopers lately, evaluating both sides of the argument. Before I get into the rest of what he said, I think I think, I think think he was referencing a tweet from Daniel RPK. Shout out to Daniel RPK as well. Mm-hmm. Um, where he called out some of the fake 
scoopers. Saw that. Okay. And okay. He named saw names. That. He named at names. names. At names. A couple Full that I didn't list. A name. A couple. And, I know. And was, one of the was, ones on there. This. Was, I didn't know you was this. Uh, yeah. And I one know. Of the ones on there, I broke my heart low key because I already dropped. Be honest. My guy. This is what it is. Divinity Seeker. I didn't see Divinity Seeker was on the list. He's on the list. I don't Dude, know. Like I expected rejected. I expected was it toast? I don't or know. I don't have a list. So I expected some. That, I didn't expect the vanity. Damn. Yeah, yeah. Damn. But it's whatever. Um So that means anything they say bad, right? It was fake, right? It's just like they got a bunch of burners and they just saying shit for engagement. And you know, must cut a check. But that's neither here nor there. You're right. Um but I think that's what Alex was 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 referencing when he yes, was sir. talking about Yep. The discussion about scoopers and liquors and stuff in the, in the space. So what he was saying is, and I wanted to address the following question. He said, are scoopers necessary? Mm. His take is probably not, but it certainly doesn't hurt the studios. In fact, one can argue that it helps them. He says, when a scooper talks about a project and reveals theme details, character castings, comic book inspirations, this sparks conversation. The buzz of a rumor spreads like wildfire across the fandom, which is then covered by multiple outlets, which then trends on social media. This in turn converts to public... This in turn converts to publicity for the company as well as generate hype for the film's release without studios actually having to spend a dime because they know that their main core audience, the fandoms, will see the project whether or not their rumor is true, which is just all absolutely no, correct. For example, many people ask why the high definition Daredevil Born Again trailer hasn't released yet. And my answer is why wouldn't it? Why would it? It's spreading like wildfire. People reshare the trailer constantly and appear on and it appears on social media. Yet Marvel Disney doesn't spend a dime on engagement on their socials. There is a difference, however, between a, a scooper and a leaker. A scooper often reports on info told to them without presenting evidence or data that would infringe copyright law. A leaker presents sensitive information that is often protected by copyright law and is actionable. My personal opinion is that leaking any information is reputable and is wrong. Period. Scooping, on the other hand has a fine line because, of course, studios don't want the information out there, but it's a necessary evil that often helps promote their movies. All scoops, no matter where who they're from, are just rumors, of course. Some rumors have more basis than others depending on the reliability of the scooper, mm-hmm. but they're all just words and rumors that are unconfirmed until the actual company confirms it themselves. To me, why scoopers' reliability is a good tool to quickly weed out which information is credible, I still listen to all rumors and claims to see whether or not they actually have any logical basis for it to occur, and from there, I investigate the claim thoroughly. Lastly, I do appreciate everyone who has stood by me. But for me, I'm a okay. All right, yeah. So that was Alex. I agree with 100. He snapped. He said Shout so out, far. Alex. He but snapped. I did think it's an interesting conversation to have, um, because yeah. you know, hmm. we lived in. A, I mean, we we've, we've we've seen time when it wasn't like this before. Yeah, like. And Not this bad. I don't know. I'm interested to know, like, does that it mess with people's enjoyment of some of these films? You know what I mean? Like, if they're there just the presence of this now, because I feel like you can't close Pandora's box. Like, we're here now. Like with the Scoopers situation, even with some of the leakers, I feel like some of the leakers kind of died down once Mar- once Disney no, kind of like they, that's what I'm saying. Low recently, they loaded it, that gun up. I ain't getting much. I ain't hearing much. Yeah, I feel like they kind of we still a lot of the leaker things have kind of chilled out a bit. Yeah, a lot actually. The only scooper that I would call a real I don't want to be or sure. a leaker. We got to be clear I, who we talking about. I'm trying scooper. Because I'm talking what about what I'm for, talking right? about is leaker. Right. So, scooper okay. is cool. Leaker. Right. Alex is scooper. Yeah. Leaker is leaker is what they did when shine. they when they dropped the, the uh, my time to shine. Nah. No. Maybe my time to shine straight up says this is gonna be in his next movie. That's true. But because I'm like it was was it toast or somebody somebody had posted some, it was was it the Captain America uh. It was something from Captain America, bro. That's why Disney was like, like a picture about right? the uh, about hit to them sue. with the lawsuit. Yeah, 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 it was a picture. It was a that picture. Came out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, but that and it that, was scripts that leaked. Remember the whole script for Quantum Mania leaked for for Quantum Mania. Yeah, Quantum Mania, Spider Man, No Way Home, The Marvels. The script leaked. Zen, I I don't even want to do this. Me and you knew the entire plots before all those movies. You just you just got you really mean that. You you be forgetting yeah. before the movie come yeah. out. I don't. That's why I can't get the leaks. Uh, My brain don't do that. Yeah. If I if you tell me, I mean, me, there's one out there right now too. I don't want to. Well, I mean, I'm not. Don't I'm do not. it. Don't. We'll do it later. I mean, there's a Captain America script out there if you really want to. Oh, find the script it. right yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah, but that's yeah, what I'm saying, yeah. bro. I'm telling you, no joke. I remember to this day. That's why even though Spider Man was incredible for me, I wish I didn't know. We heard two years before. 
the Empire State built. I mean, uh, the Statue of Liberty that's going to have the what? It's going to have a different thing on it because of Captain America has a shield. Mm-hmm. We seen that. Uh, the Green Goblin's going to actually remember we found out that it was supposed to kill Tobey Maguire. That was the original. It was in the script. Yeah. I read the script first. Yeah. Like, I'm, yeah, it was a whole. It's been bad. Like for a long, every single movie yeah. for the last. Whatever, besides Fantastic Four, this new age is now, mm-hmm. we're not getting And there's stuff out there, too, if you really want to find it, but it ain't, for Fantastic it's Four not too? being thrown in your face like it used to be. Damn, see, that's still crazy, though, that they even... You know what I mean? And who knows if any of that is, is even true. It's that. It's the it's the truth. You know what I mean? What makes me scared is them other ones, down to a T. Yeah. <laughs> like, they, like, literally said, Spider-Man does, uh, Toby Spider-Man does this on this building. While this one, I'm not talking about building like different built like the scene when they together. He like he here, he here. They talk about the placement in the script, mm. so it's like, bro, you know too much. It's like I don't need to know that, right? You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, right. Um, I remember I thought the ending was fake when they were like, he's gonna freaky make everyone forget. I'm mm-hmm. like, what the fuck? It's like, it made no sense, right? And then two years later, oh shit. This is it. Yeah. They just added more. Like, we see the crackings in the sky in the other character. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But, like, nah, the things that, yeah. So, I don't know. I don't want to go in the rant of the leaks we get. But yeah. I'm, I'm saying that to say, yeah, I do think they're on. Because what was your question? Like, is that bad? Does it affect people's viewing experience? If we take them away or them being here? Like, the fact that they it exist. Be, they doubt that they exist, yeah. Bro, brother, yeah, that's my whole spirit. Yes. Mm. It's bad for me, bro. Because it's low-key addictive. It's like, it's not, it's not my fault. But, like. You get used to finding out news, dude. So, yeah. like, I yeah, you control your brain and what you read and you look at. But if I'm scrolling on the internet with an algorithm exists, right, where it's randomized stuff, and I see something saying, what is in the Fantastic Four? I'm going to look at it, you know? that's that, I've just had to train myself, uh, much like many other people, to not, you know? Like, you see something and immediately go off it. Like, you see Fantastic Four, oh, get off of this. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But the fact that we have to do that based off of these leaks because they're everywhere if you just follow certain types of... I'd be on the For You page. I don't even need to be on my phone. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just see stuff. So, I do think it affects it bad, bro, to be honest. I'm not saying it means my experience not good. Like, again, I loved Spider-Man. But would it be way better of a movie for me if I saw that first time without knowing a goddamn thing, anything about yeah. this movie? Yeah. Oh my god, are you kidding? Remember, they didn't have the Spider Man in the trailer, right? Yeah, they teased them and they did not they show them. Yeah, Down yeah, to the yeah. point where they showed the scene with him and the other three, but they're not there. They edited them out, mm-hmm. right? I'm at, just really imagine, because you, you knew, really something. didn't know. Yeah, I don't know if you remembered any while watching. So maybe again, for you, it seems like you really don't remember. Oh no, no, no. Sometimes I do. Right, it depends a little bit is. here and it there. Right, what it is like if it's something that I'm really excited, excited about, about, I probably will remember. Did you for Spider Man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel, just but now thinking the bad perspective, bro, you would have lost your mind, right? Not that we didn't. Yeah, but that's why it's fucked up for me. Like I don't like it. Like I feel like they should say they about to get him out. Of yeah, <laughs> leakers, not scoopers. I'm. I like Alex Perez. I like you. Ha- I agree with everything you said. You teasing this concept of this movie that I still don't know much about, and you could be wrong. That's kind of fun. It's like a game. Mm-hmm. And you when he's what I mean? wrong, shout out to Alex as well. And he calls when it he's out. Wrong, he calls it out. I like that. Just be real and honest about it. Be like, hey, I heard that this might be a thing, and if so, I'm only giving you this. I'm not telling you that Robert Downey. Jr. I'm not telling you the plot. Like I'm not telling you this person's about to go do this, and it's a big cameo at the same time. Mm-hmm. I'm not doing that. I'm saying, hey, this might do this, and this might lead here. Right. And I'm using might a lot, you know? Yeah. Like, I, it's a way you can do it. I, I, I feel like it's like a tastefulness to it right. where it becomes a leaker versus scooper. I guess it's just the way you do it. Right. Because I bet Alex knows the same information, you know? I'm sure he right? does, yeah. But he not going to say. I do be say, wondering that, too. Like, what, how does he vet what he shares? Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And he said I mean, that. one day we might have to get him on a pod. We could talk about it. You that know what I mean? Alex. Yo. That would be great. I mean, we know some people over there. Shout out to Lizzie. Shout out to Vin. Yes, we did. So, shout out to yeah. Um, That'd be awesome. Never know. But, yeah. Did you have anything to say about the leakers and the scoopers before? No, I think I said here. everything. Yeah. I mean, again, like I said, I agree with what Alex was saying. Mm-hmm. I think, it's- um, and I do think it does affect the list, the viewing experience. I would like to, I um, again, like these next few movies coming up. I think like Thunderbolts. I don't know really know much about. Let, and let's keep it that way, right? Um, like, Captain America. I know too much about. You know too much. <laughs> but that's my point. Like, let's not uh, have Fantastic that. Four though. Like, I know something, but you're like, but I'm me- not sure what right. is oh, real is and right what's in not. Yeah. So, but like, wait, I also said it real quick too. I know we're trying to get out of here. When you the Captain America one, like yeah, you've seen be honest, you've seen the script, right? Yeah, yeah. bro. I bet I know you though. If that John wasn't around, you wasn't looking for it. Yeah, no. you know what I'm saying. I didn't. I wasn't like begging somebody to drop. The bro, script you didn't America go on before. Twitter, go to your search, and go Captain America script. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or so it's like that's why the experience it's messed up because it's like, bro, if I just see this, 
control. It's up to me. Do I want to dive in? Ah, whatever. But that's stupid. That's yes, self control. I'll learn. But it's like I, I think it's only we only have to do that because we got used to it as a culture. No, nah, sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure. So sure. that's why. Yeah. I, yeah. Get him out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> Shout out Alex. Who else is a scooper? I guess Daniel too. Daniel RPK yeah, 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 scooper. Shout cool. out to Daniel yeah, too. Yeah, sure. yeah, like they're school scoopers, but ruining my movies. Nah, facts. But yeah, that was a that was a great episode. I think. I think we smoked that. Nah, for sure, yeah, right. for sure, time. for sure, for sure. But again, um, we might be on a little break right now after this. Mm-hmm. I'm not too sure. We'll see. But when we pop up, you'll and if see. so, it'll be a little one. one. Yeah, yeah, we're not gonna. Yeah, we're a not taking a break, break like we did last time. Yeah. For last time, sure. and it's not even a fo- that last time was not fair. It was like we mo- you moving. Yeah, it's a moving. Yeah, it was break. a lot. Of things and going on, yeah, yeah, sure, it's sure, adjusting, sure. adjusting. So, um, yeah, no, we'll hopefully see y'all soon. Mm-hmm. Again, the merch is out there. Yes. Um, if you wanna, we got some sales going on. We got some hoodies, some new stuff on on his website. So please check out listen dot com. Check out ages of dot com for all your movie news. All your comic book news, all your entertainment news, we got it for you. And check out the podcast, Comic Corner, Ages of Fandom, and us. And this is Sound Gallery Pop Studios. Please check out the studios if you're in the Philadelphia Dealer area. no deal. Please, please, please. And yeah, that's it. We're out of here. Love y'all. Pick a boo. Pick a boo. Yeah, you know. Pick a boo. Pick a boo. I'm not disgusting. Buckers in my chain.